What is going on guys and girls? How doing today? It's single Roleplay here once again and today I want to present you guys a little video with the tips on this uh, task called Punisher Part 3 with the proper and on how I made it as a uh, average player, you know, because the majority of this uh, task guides and videos and uh, whatever are being recorded by the very experienced players uh, but I'm just your average player just trying to do these tasks and uh, I mm, made a couple of notes and just want to share my experience with this task as it looks pretty easy kill 25 scouts on custom using AKS 74U uh, but there's a couple of problems first of all AKS uh, is the shitty weapon it has crazy amount of recoil and the second problem is customs is the probably the most um, populated uh, map in the game still because the majority of uh, the noobs go there and uh, there's also a lot of uh, chats chilling in the dorm section of there uh, people just farming the mark room over there and all that stuff there's the great mix of different levels of players over there this map is always populated there's a lot of tasks connected with this map as well there's a lot of night missions over there there's always people over there the first thing that I want to show you guys is my AKS-74U build uh, that I created. I think it gives you a good balance of um, what you can get from this shitty weapon. It gives you a good amount of recoil, stability as well as um, the aim. That's the AKS that I have guys. I will uh, put the links in the description. Uh, not the links but the list of the... Uh, parts that you need to make this uh, the problem with the AKS. It's really is shit and very loud weapon uh, It has crazy amount of vertical and horizontal recall, especially the vertical is hard to fight uh, For example, AK 75 M is way lower than this So you need to make a lot of noise and uh, somehow kill 25 scars in the customs The first thing is I want to buy is the recoil pad absolutely mandatory. The stock is the same uh, the rounds are the same. The muzzle brake uh, do not uh, do not save money on this because this shit reduces the most recoil. I can recommend buying JMAC Pro for this type of we uh, weapon because this reduces the recoil a lot. Uh, the um, grip is uh, Magpul FG. Uh, you can also save money if you wish and just get something like. Um, now there's also a cheaper variant, I think it's mod free, yeah, BCM mod free, it's just uh, like plus one more recoil and it's like uh, 5,000 instead of what, 10,000 I believe, so that's about it. For the handguard, uh, buy the B11 because you can get the Boris fast fire and the fast fire weaver base there and uh, on this B18 mount you can put this Boris fast fire reflex side guys. So this is it, uh, B11 aka Sue handguard, Boris fast fire reflex sight on the Weaver base and the B18 mount, that's about it. The rest is pretty much the same shit except for the Ishmash AK-12 regular pistol grip, it's very cheap, it's like worthless but it gives nice amount of ergonomics. Uh, so this kind of weapon gives you at least some kind of a balance between the ergonomics and um, reduces the insane amount of recoil on this shit weapon so it kind of makes it more usable guys now let's talk about the scav locations all right guys this is the new version of the customs map and i want to tell you guys where is the best place to uh, basically look for the scavs you know the problem with this map like i said is that a lot of people always here doing any kind of tasks and just killing each other so not only it's very hard to find scavs because scavs generally spawn at the beginning of the raid. They, it takes a while to spawn scavs. Sometimes they spawn earlier, sometimes later. Uh, some 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 of them spawns very early, like the sniper scavs. But some of them just takes like 15 minutes to get any scavs out of the map. There's a couple of places that are juiced up with scavs, and uh, I can recommend this. The first is kind of the cross road over there behind before the river it's called the sniper roadblock and here near this little shop uh, it actually spawns like three scavs over there they're always in the open 
It is literally the best place for scavs in my opinion because you can hide in this bush uh, on the edge of the um, grass over there and the edge of this uh, little forest over there near the dorms uh, on the edge of the road. You can sit here and just uh, kill like one, two, even three scavs here. The second most populated place for scavs is definitely Ruaf Roadblock, but the problem here is that there's huge traffic over there, people go to the um, extract points like the trailer park, railroad to Tarkov, the crossroads, there's always traffic to the ZB13, to the new construction site, to the gas station, there's always traffic over here across the river, so uh, people just indigilate scouts over there and it's like very rarely you see them over there. It takes like maybe at the end of the raid they will keep spawning but still if you are unlucky this can be a very juicy place for scav. You can sit in the bush hide here somewhere and just wait for your scav to spawn. Another place where I can recommend is definitely the gas station because uh, even though it's an extract but it's kind of juicy, they always spawn the scav, gas station guys can recommend. Another thing that is actually a fantastic scav spawn is this um, military base um, kind of tower over there. Uh, you can also check for different shots at the gas station over there, maybe some scav bosses over there as well. But here near the rocks is where the scav spawn, especially near this uh, uh, electricity tower and the watchtower over there. This is a pretty juicy place for scav. They can get like one, two, three scavs over there quite easily. You can hide on the rocks here in the bush and just easily notice scavs. They just spawn over there and just walk around like crazy. And the last uh, place where it's actually pretty good for scavs is near the ZB11 uh, extract factory for corner admin gate. Uh, scavs spawn here near this kind of silos. And just, just patrol the area near these tubes and uh, it's actually a pretty good place for scavs but <coughs> keep in mind guys this is a rather dangerous spot because scavs spawn with shotguns and they can prawn and just kill you in the head and all this kind of dangerous thing because it's kind of in the, in the open and at the same time they can hide really well right now. So yeah, this is my last resort for scavs because even though it's an extract, but it kind of always spawns scavs as well. Can highly recommend this. All right, guys, this is this. This is my tips from uh, the mm, new player to all the other new players for you guys. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.